New South Wales has a comprehensive and strong regulatory scheme for managing dust risks, with specific mining health and safety legislation and the most stringent dust exposure standards in Australia. A recent increase in identified cases of coal worker pneumoconiosis in the New South Wales mining industry has kept this issue an ongoing focus for the New South Wales Mine Safety Advisory Council. One of the key functions of the New South Wales Resources Regulator is um, regulation of safety in the New South Wales mining industry. Firstly and importantly, the, the safety record of the mining industry in New South Wales has improved decade on decade for the last 40 years. However, it's important to note that we have ha actually had a, a recurrence of dust diseases being reported to us in the mining industry in the last three years, specifically coal workers pneumoconiosis. Black lung disease, otherwise known as coal workers pneumoconiosis, is a disease that results from inhaling coal mine dusts. The people who develop coal workers pneumoconiosis or black lung are usually those people who've actually worked in coal mines for a long time, usually underground. Workers can be exposed to dust on a mine site with activities such as cutting or grinding, abrasive blasting, hauling, mucking, tipping and crushing all have the potential to create unacceptable dust exposures if not controlled properly. So in New South Wales mining, in accordance with um, legislation, no worker can be exposed to dust in, ex in, in excess of the exposure standards that are prescribed in legislation. So mine operators have an obligation, they have a duty to provide a workplace where the risks to their workers are as low as reasonably practicable. Mine workers can certainly be affected by respirable dust. One has to be very careful about thinking about dust because although you may not know the effects to begin with, it can actually take 10 or 20 years before the effects are actually shown. It is the position of the resources regulator that all dust diseases are preventable. Uh, that can only be achieved when mine operators and mine workers fully understand the risks associated with the dust and the controls they need to put into place to manage those risks. Mine operators also need to be aware of the changes to the prescribed exposure standards that come into effect and take proactive steps to identify how it is they are actually going to meet those, those new standards when they come into effect. A new exposure standard for respirable coal dust of 1.5 milligrams per cubic metre will be introduced from the 1st of February 2021. The New South Wales Resources Regulator and the Mine Safety Advisory Council, a tripartite forum made up of employers, unions and government, agree that the reduction of the exposure standard for respirable coal dust to 1.5 milligrams per cubic metre will ensure New South Wales continues to have the strongest regime for protecting workers' health and safety. Visit our website to find out more.